if you have a name on the right, send your right and say, I've been blessed today. If you have a friend on the left, just turn to the left and say, I've been blessed today. Maybe let's do it this way. On the left, give that friend a high five and say, I've been blessed today. Do you have a friend behind you this evening? Do you have a friend behind you this evening? They are also looking behind. So just tap them on the shoulder and say, I have been blessed. And then all of us with a loud shout, let's shout, I would rather have Jesus. Once again, I would rather have Jesus. One day I'll be a gogo like you and I'll get the bouquet of flowers. But my dear friends, we have to close this program. And as we close this program, let me mention one thing before I sit down. And this one thing is the power of music brings the presence of God. Are we together? Let's say together, the power of music. Power. It invites the presence of God. Yes. Oh yes, it's in the book of Acts, and in the book of Acts we find two men, Paul and Silas. And then the Bible tells me that these men had shook the gates of, of, of hell. And I want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, your music is only effective when it shakes the gates of hell. Are we together? And then the Bible tells me they were taken to the chief justice of that day. And as they get to the chief justice of that day, they were charged. And their charge was they are teaching an illegal religion. So they were put into a prison. I want you to listen carefully as I uh, explain this, my dear friends. Not only a prison, but the most powerful prison of that day. And not on an ordinary cell, but the Bible says they were put in an inner chamber so as to make sure that they do not escape. And then they called the jailer and said to the jailer, if these men escape, your punishment is death. So they made sure that the men don't escape. And then the Bible tells me in verse 25 that at midnight they were singing. Are we together, friends? There are times in life when you have to wake up midnight and sing. And then the Bible tells me that as they were singing, there was an earthquake which shook the foundations of the prison. And then the Bible says the doors were flung open and then the chains from every prisoner were broken and they fell down. The power of music, it invites the presence of God. I see God coming to them and showing off. God showed up on that day because of the music that they were singing. And my last words to you, my dear friends, are wherever you go, in your countries, in your ministries, let your ministry shake the gates of hell. Let your ministry invite the presence of God. And as I close this message, it is in London. This recording company was going around the squatter camps and they are busy recording what uh, you know these three people are doing on a daily basis. So they wanted to know about their lifestyle, their challenges, what they talk about and everything. So now this producer each and every day when he was editing uh, the, the, the video of the day, he would hear a sound and uh, after clearing the noise from that video, the sound became clearer and clearer. It was from this street man each and every day, you know, when they were recording, he would repeat over and over again the same words. He would be singing a song and as the producer was listening carefully, it was the song, he has never failed me yet. He has never failed me yet. I want to tell you, my dear friends, God has never failed us and he will never fail us. Somebody is saying, but I'm in a challenge. I want to say, my dear friends, never measure the ability of God by what he is doing in your present moment. The ability of God, God is able, even if he has done nothing in your life as yet, but God is about to do great things. This is why I say God is able. The power of music, music invites the presence of God. Our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed this evening and I want to pray, our Father in heaven, we have been blessed this afternoon. There are people who are going to be traveling back to their homes. Lord, I present them into your hands. The devil is not happy at all by what has happened today. Lord, the devil is planning a lot of things, but today we say no in the name of Jesus. We break every chain, Lord. We are saying, let our music today invite the presence of God, which will accompany us to our homes. 
Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for such a special program which has brought us next to the presence of God. Lord, we thank you because you are God in our lives and you continue doing wonders. For in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. May everybody say amen. amen. Thank you, friends. I love you all. May God take care of you. Travel safe.